Hello everybody, my name is Caleb. I run an advertising agency called Torify, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I set up and run Facebook ads for a painting company. I'm going to jump into my computer here and I'll share my screen, show you guys how I do it. Okay, so to start this off, I kinda just wanna explain how the funnel of this works. If you're a painter, you probably you probably already know this because you run something similar. But here's how I have set it up for this painter. This was uh, something that we set up a couple days ago. So here's how I set it up. Here's kind of like the, the flow of how things work. Somebody sees an advertisement, they fill out a form to book a quote. The painter, or you, would call them, or if, if you have like a secretary or somebody who schedules your appointments for you, the appointment gets scheduled, then the quote is made. That's kind of like the, the flow, that's kind of the funnel of how things work. And then if they accept the quote, then the job gets, so just to recap, prospect sees the advertisement, they fill out a form that says they want the quote. Somebody reaches out to book the quote. The quote is completed. So how I run this advertisement campaign here, I run this on Facebook and Instagram. I think Facebook is probably the best place for this, but uh, that's something I'm gonna determine once I get more results in for this client. Uh, I'm only doing one campaign for them right now, and this month so far, it is April 3rd, and we started this on April 1st, so six leads from this, uh, from this campaign so far, and these are people who said they wanted a quote. A lead, that's probably like the serious, most serious quote you can have. Um, a lead could be somebody who just expresses some sort of interest, but these are people who committed they want a quote for this job. So they want this painter to come out and quote the job. Um, one of the best leads you can have. So I separated those into three different ad sets. We tested and are still testing which audience, the, the reason for the ad sets is to uh, separate the, the budget a little bit and to separate the audience. So the budget, I have $10 per day for each one of these budgets, uh, pretty normal. And $30 total, the total ad spend, uh, would be maybe around 900 to a thousand dollars a month if we wanted to continue with this But I don't think that that is it's really necessary to go that high Especially since at, at this rate we're getting two leads per day to quote two jobs per day is That will provide you with a good amount of work This specific client lives in kind of the Detroit area and we targeted a few different areas around Detroit the first one was just like a 25 mile radius basically around his house that's it, flat rate. That would be this bottom one here. This is like more of a general targeting. The middle one is specific high income cities. So specific cities in that area that are higher income, nicer cities. Uh, if you know the Detroit area, there's like Royal Oak, Birmingham, Rochester. Those are like, like nicer uh, places where the average income is, I don't know exactly, but it's, it's pretty solid. Um, I think the average income of Royal Oak is like $80,000 a year. Um, the average income of like Rochester. $91,000 a year. So like these are, anyways, these are areas that can afford the service that this uh, painter is providing. Um, the next is within that 25 mile radius, the top 25% of income zip codes. So. Uh, anyways, because painting is a service that's a little bit more expensive, it's not like this person is selling a $25 service. Like, you know, the average painting job, I would assume is at least in the couple hundreds. So we're looking for people who can afford the service. Uh, and then the individual ads for this, uh, client, I ran 15 total advertisements for them separated into basically I did this I did five ads I created five ad copies or five ads copy to go along with them everything and then each one of those is displayed to the three different ad sets the three different audiences so for a total of 15 different ads that are shown and for those advertisements I focused on promoting a very specific service or a very specific problem uh, for example the success um, most of the success that I've had is with uh, I did four pictures one video just because that's the what the client had um, I would probably recommend doing video if you can is painting the ceiling of your basement it's, it is a it's it's a very specific thing painting the ceiling of your basement and there's just a video of them completing that service and I you know I put some music I made it look nice um, 
that is a bit very specific thing. So I marketed that specific service. And like another one down here is an accent wall. So I showed some different accent walls that my uh, client has painted in the past. Uh, another one would be exterior painting. So it's not, these aren't just general advertisements saying like, hey, I'm a painter, I'll paint anything you want. Uh, even though maybe you are, uh, promoting a very specific thing that targets a specific person is what I would recommend. And then, so once all those people see the advertisement and then they fill out the form, uh, the goal of them is to fill out the form, I will show you actually how that works. Also, total right now, uh, we're looking at about $15 per lead. And just for reference, Angie's List, which is very popular for painters and contractors, they will, leads there start at around 10 to $15, depending on the area. With these nicer areas and like uh, more affluent areas that we're targeting, I suspect it would be a lot more. But Angie's List leads range anywhere between like 15 to like $85. So it can be uh, a lot. But with Facebook advertisements, you're also getting the you're also getting the advertisement itself. So like, even if somebody doesn't click on that and fill out the form like we want them to, they still know who this painting company is. They still know who you are. That's all that stuff that you're not getting with some, a service like Angie's List. But anyways, how I created this form is through something called Instant Forms. It's in the Meta Business Suite is where you can find it. It's extremely self-explanatory. And I wanted to make this form as simple as possible. It's also an, a native form. So what that means is everything is done through Facebook. There are pros and cons of doing it that way. The alternative would be to send this to your own website and have the lead fill out the form on your website. Um, one of the reasons why I like doing it on Facebook itself is because people trust Facebook. They're, I believe the conversion rate for filling out the form would be better. And it's also, there's less steps to it. Every time you create an extra step for somebody, there's gonna be people that fall off and don't follow that step. So we wanna make it as easy as possible for people. That's why I recommend Instant Forms. So here's what the form that I created looked like. Again, super simple. Uh, when the prospect opens up the form, the image of the advertisement that they clicked on will be right here. Um, here's the painting company. I just said, get your free estimate. Please fill out the information to get started. How would you like us to contact you? Um, we'll call you or text you. That's pretty much it. Uh, so then at this, at your company at that point, either you or somebody who works for you would call them to book the appointment. Uh, please give a short explanation of the work you need done. I just put that in there just so we can get a general understanding of what they want so that we don't have to track every advertisement and they could say, like for example, the basement ceiling painting. They will just say basement ceiling painting or uh, basement ceiling and painting and remodeling or whatever, something like that. Uh, next, page two would just be their contact information. And this is another benefit of doing it on Facebook. Some of this is pre-filled, so their name will be pre-filled. And I think that might be it. I don't know if it pre-fills their phone number or the city, but that's extremely important because if stuff's pre-filled, it's less likely that people will, I know it's not very, very much of a daunting task to fill out your name, but you will still lose people because of it phone number so we can call or text them and then the city where they're at that's important so that maybe if you're out and you get a lead or a couple leads you can call them or text them and you get a general idea where they're at maybe they're close to where you're at right now so you can quote them real quick uh, and then there's a privacy policy they just need to accept that and then that's it i said thank you we will reach out within 48 hours uh you can visit your website or you can visit our website or they can just exit the form it's pretty simple it's pretty self-explanatory this is how I would recommend setting up your painting company's Facebook ads. I think that it is on the easier side of Facebook ads. It's not like a complex e-commerce store or software company. Like you're only dealing with a small local area of people. So it's not like you have to narrow it down from the world. Let's, let's do some quick math here. Let's say that you are this client and you're getting 60 leads per month, two leads per day and let's say only 50 of them that said they wanted a quote actually end up booking the quote. I think uh, about, what is that? That would be like a 15 to 20% drop off rate. I think that's a fair estimate. So let's say only 50 of the people that said they wanted quotes actually get a quote done from you. Let's say that of those 50 quotes that you do, you only book one out of every five of them. 
okay? So one out of every five quotes that you do, actually, which I, I think that's pretty low, uh, one out of every five quotes that you do actually hires you. So that would mean that you have 10 jobs for the month times 750, $7,500. So off of $1,000 in ad spend, which is again on the high side, you're making $7,500, which I think is extremely good. So I hope you guys were able to learn something today. If you would like to learn about working with me and my company to see how we can make you some money, I will leave a link below. This will be kind of a more of a deeper dive into a demonstration about what we do and see if we might be a good fit to work together and help you book more jobs. I hope you all have a great and amazing day and I'll see you all in the next one.